Building community and creating opportunities for collaboration in our online classes can help to facilitate student learning. In this short video, we'll share with you one tool available in Sakai to support community building and collaboration, student content pages. Student content pages allow students to add content to a lesson you have built within Sakai. Student content pages can be used for a variety of purposes, including information, resource, or content curation, and student portfolios. Student pages can also be used to support community building in your course by allowing students to use them as a place to introduce themselves to one another, course TAs, as well as instructors. In order to add student content pages to a lesson within your Sakai site, you may want to begin by adding a new lesson. So here we're in the site info page for our course Sakai site, and we'll go to manage tools. We'll scroll on down to lessons in order to add a new lesson. And we can name that whatever is appropriate. Now that we've added that lesson, we can see it in the left hand side of our Sakai site. So if we navigate to that lesson, in order to add student content pages, you just scroll on down from the add content option to add student content and it will bring us to this page where we'll be able to see which students have added their page or their content to the lesson that we've created as well as folks who perhaps haven't had the chance to do so yet. There are a variety of options available when using student content pages. So if we select the edit student content item here, it'll bring up some of those options. So we can make student pages anonymous and or create a gradebook item for these. We can also add comment sections to each of the student pages. This making student comments anonymous function actually isn't uh, working at the moment. So if you do add comments to the pages, students will be able to see who has written those comments. We can use uh, the comments as a, as a point for grading. And we can also provide opportunities for peer feedback within the student pages as well. We can also facilitate group work by using student content pages by attributing ownership of a student page to a group versus an individual and you can limit and expand who can view which pages according to their purpose. So we can have pages where students are only able to see their own page as well. Because student content pages are embedded within a lesson you've created, you can also provide some instructions within the lesson itself. So if we go to the add content button, we can add text um, above the student pages option and you can add hello uh, please use this page as a place to introduce uh, yourselves to one another here we go uh, and we can reorder that so it makes sense here we go um, and so now students know that they're supposed to use this page as a, as a place to introduce themselves to one another. So you can see that student content pages are a really flexible tool that provide a lot of opportunity for community building, collaboration, uh, as well as the opportunity for formative feedback. Student content pages provide opportunities for students to engage content and demonstrate knowledge through multiple means of representation, including text, audio, images, and video as well.